Welcome back to another Mindful May video. My name is May, and today's project is a quilted dress. This project is super fun and simple. You just need a few things before we start. You will need fabric, of course. I used a kind of quilted fabric that I thrifted, and then you need a tank top that fits you pretty well. You will need some bias tape for the binding around the armholes and the neckline. You will, of course, then need matching thread and scissors. We are going to be using the tank top as a template for the top half of the dress, so that part doesn't need any measurements. You will, however, need to measure your hips. My hip measurement is 39. I added an inch for seam allowance and then two more inches just for wiggle room. So let's go ahead and start cutting the front and back panels. This will only be two pieces for the whole dress, which makes it super easy. I am laying my tank top down. This is going to be a template. I am placing my hip measurement. I am marking on both sides and then finding that length from the shoulder down to above the knee of 36 inches. I'm gonna cut that line first. Cut up to the mark that I made for my hip measurement, and then all the way up, leaving a bit of seam allowance about an inch around the tank top. And then to make this easier, I just cut one half of the dress out, folded it in half, and then cut out the mirrored side. Here is my first panel. And then I'm just going to face it down onto the other fabric. This is just so I can see where I'm cutting a little bit better so the fabrics aren't both facing up at me. You will cut out the exact same piece here. The only change we're going to make is keeping that panel folded in half. I'm going to cut a little bit lower for the front neckline. Just shaving off about an inch here. If you want pockets, this is where you'll cut them out, in whatever size you'd like. And then gathering all of my pieces, it's only four pieces here, I'm going to start by attaching the pockets. I tucked down one edge of the pocket and then surged around the remaining edges. This is not necessary if you don't have an overlocker. You can just fold these edges in as I'm doing here, pin them and sew on the pocket. They will be hidden inside the pocket. I have pinned in all the corners of where I want my pocket to land and this is gonna help me hopefully sew it on straight. Starting from the top right corner, we will sew around to the top left corner. I'm not using any special technique here, just starting a little bit above the pocket, stabilizing the stitch with forward and back, going all the way around, and then finishing it, stabilizing with a forward and back stitch. And here it is attached, it's pretty sturdy. Now I'm going to measure out and place the other pocket on. And now we are going to attach the side seams. So I am placing both of my panels, good sides facing each other or right sides together. And I am going to pin from the armpit all the way down to the bottom hem of the dress. We will sew all along here, and I will pin and sew along the other side. The next step would be to attach at the shoulder seams. I'm pinning these again, right sides together. This will just be a quick little seam here, stitching these together.
Next step is to bind the arm and the neck holes. I chose this brown because it's something that I was able to find at a thrift store. And I'm going to face the right side of the binding to the right side of the dress. Starting with a quarter of an inch fold on the binding. This will give us a really clean look when we're done. I'm going to pin this all the way around the armhole. As I come to the end of my pinning, I'm going to leave about half an inch of excess binding to hang over the folded portion that we started with. Snip it here. and we'll take it to the machine. So I'm going to start with my needle right over that fold that we created while pinning. I'm gonna stitch that forward and back to hold it there. And then I am basically stitching in the ditch of this binding. This is a single fold bias binding and I'm sewing directly into the crease of the fold, about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. And as I come to the end, the excess binding that we clipped will overlap the folded portion so it will become hidden as we move on to our next step. So it gets sewn directly over top of the folded portion. And now my dress is inside out. I'm going to fold that binding toward the bad side of the dress. So this will all get tucked inside where we can't see it. We'll pin it here and it looks really clean. There are two options for binding. I could fold it over just a bit so you could see the brown on the inside and outside. But I'm choosing to pull the binding all the way to the inside of the armhole. I just think it will give it a cleaner look. So this is what it would look like from the outside. The binding is pulled into the inside of the armhole. We are going to sew as close to this edge as we can. Taking it to the machine and sewing very close to the edge of the binding. This is how it looks when it's done. We've got one side done. I'm going to start on the other armhole and the neckline. Starting the neckline, starting at the back center and starting again with that step one. I'm going to attach it right sides facing all the way around the neckline and then again I will pull the binding all the way to the inside and stitch it in place there. After I sew the neckline, all that's left is to sew the bottom hem. Again, there are two options. You can do a double fold here and stitch. Since I have a serger and I didn't want to add any bulk, I did one large hem. I'm going to pin this. This is about a one inch fold all the way around. I am quite lazy and really don't like to measure. So I tend to do both edges and then everything else typically shakes out to be pretty even. And now we'll sew it all together. Sewing the hem in place. I'm stitching about a quarter inch away from the top of my hem all the way around. And I didn't measure, but it worked out. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. But here's the dress all put together. I'm super excited to try it on.
Thanks as always for sewing with me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel for some more videos. See you next time. Cheers.